It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Austrian Hungary Empire series. Welcome back, boys. How are we all doing today? Doing good? That's good to hear. We've just had a an absolutely devastating victory. Well, not devastating for us. A glorious victory, but a devastating defeat for the Romanians. And I realized we annexed all the land. I was initially trying to take the cores, but funnily enough, I can't release them without releasing the land that I want as well, which is kind of annoying, but who cares? It's, it's done now. Kesara, Sara, whatever it will be, it'll be. Anyway, we've got a bit of a uh, bit of dockyard, so we'll get some convoys pumped out. What's the production reduction for Antia? 65%. We'll go with that one. Yeah. So we want to start pumping out some Antia. We're working on better planes. That's good. All right, let's get everyone to position. Okay, so. There's a little trick up my sleeve that I've not been revealing to you guys. I have formed the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. But that doesn't stop me from going fascist as well. Ooh. What are you up to, Dave? What are you up to? Um. Oh, these guys are assigned. Oh, okay, about another 34 dudes. Okay. There's a bunch of guys here that I need to get rid of because I haven't got the manpower anymore. So I need to get rid of all these dudes. To be honest with you, you could only probably deal with another four. Focus on reinforcements. Encryption decryption is a good idea, but we need the guns first. Can't fabricate on Italy. We'll see what we can do anyway. At the moment, I'm a bit undecided on how we're going to go about this, but we'll see how things go down. These are our kind of reserves. So we're a bit behind on the support equipment still, so we'll update those as well. Uh, we need more steel, so we'll get some more of that. It's interesting, the Romanians have expanded pretty aggressively, haven't they? We've got shit tons of oil now, which is glorious. The threat of communism! Oh boy. 51% fascist. I think we're going to flip, boys. At record speed. Oh boy. <laughs> we should fire the event to go fascist any minute now as well. Um... Alright, go here. We've lost national unity, but we are now the Austro-Hungarian Empire! Hang on, we were the Austro-Hungarian Empire before, weren't we? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're fascist now, anyway. Which, funnily enough, you probably think to yourself, Oh, no, you can't do these focuses now. Apparently, only these ones at the top prevent you from going for the non-aligned ones if you're, not, if you're fascist. Did I say that right? You know what I meant, right? Oh, I was Austria-Hungaria. Oh, right, so my name was Austria-Hungaria, and now I'm the Austria-Hungarian Empire, right? Is that? Is that? Now I'm an empire. Oh, okay, right, fair enough. Okay. So at this stage, I can make a really, really smart decision because it's tempting to go for the extra research slot, but at this moment in time, I need to strike while the iron's hot and I need to take out the Yugoslavians. Yeah, I need to do that now. So these are our fighters, so we'll make the air... Oh, no, that's not the fighters. Uh, there's the fighters. Can I make another wing? Yeah, I can. Oh, I've not got enough manpower. Okay. New fighter plane. Um, we can't get those yet. We could go for encryption decryption. 
That's close. Artillery is going to be worthwhile, but we haven't got much production. We need the doctrines really badly. Oh, there's so many things we need. That's the reason why we need that extra tech slot. Alright, what do we have? Extra planes, go. So this stage, I think it might be a good idea. Um, the big rivers here are a bit of a pain. Mountains. Well, actually the hills. But I bet the best thing to do is probably to squeeze through here, wouldn't it? Okay. I think that's doable. Alright. Our industry is booming right now. 50, 50, 60, 60. Yeah, our industry is absolutely booming. I don't think we need that many guns anymore. Uh, we need extra steel. We could use tungsten from America. We can go for extensive conscription. God, you see that we had almost 8,000 and now it's dropped to 679. Damn. Okay, at this stage as well, we could probably make this division a bit better as well. Adding on all the extra mod cons. Make it a lovely 40 combat width. The fourth international. The German Reich demands the Sudeten. In the middle of the ongoing situation, Germany has demanded the Sudeten territory from us to protect the German population of the region. With the ongoing situation, they have made it very clear that it, that this is it. Okay. There will be no negotiations or diplomacy. They will have the Sudeten or they will go to war. Bring it on. Oh my god, 115 days. I didn't think it'd take that long. No, we're going to have to do it anyway. We've got no choice. Alright, we're a bit behind on anti-air and artillery too. How many days? 278. It will catch up. Just We need to give it more time. And that was a 33 days. I'm actually happy with those numbers. Those are up to date now. That's good. Reconnaissance will be worthwhile too. But factory output is so required right now. We need to keep pumping out those. All, we need to pump out as much production as possible. We'll go for an extra bit of steel from France. So, Galicia is Poland, right? Galicia? Galicia? Claim the... Oh, we didn't really read these, did we? We'll read them. A true great power requires access to the seas. The coast of the Aberatic... Aberatic, is that right? Is our birthright. Reclaim Valencia. The treasury... Oh, God. Tre treachery of the Italians in the Great War has not been forgotten. It is time to put them to in their place. And restore the empire to its natural borders. Oh, right. Well. Well. Reclaim Valencia. Okay, so that one's reclaimed the empire. We gain claims on random places around the world. So, like, loads of parts of Italy... Also, Jordan and Palestine, which someone told me in, the, in my Twitch chat that apparently that is kind of historical. Maybe? I'm not aware of that, but okay. So, where is Bukovina? Bovkovina? I have no idea where that is. It may not be the most economically important of the widespread holdings, but it's still part of the empire and we will claim it. I have no idea where this is. 
If anyone knows in the comments, please say below. Anyway, what we're we doing? So, work on industry. It's southern Poland. Is it? Is it? So what's going to happen is, because we're fascist... Well, actually, maybe it's not because we're fascist, but because we, 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 we appear hostile to the fascists, they're going to position troops on their border, which means they'll not position as many troops on the other borders because they'll have them on our borders. So, does that mean potentially they might cook themselves? Maybe. We could have gone for war economy there as well. Alright, so... And they've been guaranteed by France. Okay, so we can't do that. Shit, I should have spotted that just before I... So, we're going to lose national unity now. Shit. Okay, I don't want to be in a war with France. I can't do it. Ah, oh, that's such a pain in the ass, that as well. Shit. That's actually threw off my plans. Okay, so... So, what do we do instead? Hmm. Hmm. So they're allied, aren't they? They're in the allies, so that then the UK will join. So there's no really way around that, really. I'd, I'd be sucked into a war that would last decades, and I am not willing to do that. That would be very, very foolish. So I am not going to do that. And plus... It's getting very close to World War II now. And it's going to go with an alliance with Italy. So attacking Italy is probably not even going to be worthwhile either now. Ah, that's such a shame. It kind of surprised me. It's not a big deal, you know. It's like it doesn't give you an event that pops up and says, You have been get The nation you have been justifying has been guaranteed. It the game doesn't make a big deal about it, even though it is a really big deal. Uh... Alright, so... I guess we just sit in our hands, I suppose, and we kind of wait for the world to be sucked into war, and then we gobble up land, I suppose. It's not exactly how I wanted it to happen, but that's what we're going to have to do. How long do guarantees last for? I think they last forever, don't they? Yeah, I think they last forever. So in my Twitch chat, I just said, You should have joined the Axis invaded Italy with the German support. Um... Nothing telling me not to do that right now. But there's a chance that they might join the, join the Allies. Yeah, why not? Let's give that a shot. Oh, that seems like a decent idea. Let's go for it. Never thought of that idea, but that is actually a very smart idea, so let's give that a shot. I'd like to expand my industry right now and w focus on, like, tanks maybe, but at the moment we've not got enough research slots. You need at least four to start working on air and land as well. Danzig or war. And we're not going to join the war. When they ask to join, we're going to say no. I guess I could request production, maybe. Medium self-propelled artillery. Take difference from requesting equipment. Germany has strategic reasons to hostile towards the Austro... Okay, never mind. Okay. Well, that was an idea that came and went. So, at this point, this is going to be horrendously tricky to break through here. Look how many divisions are here. Yeep. So, there's a goal. It's going to be to try and push into that, isn't it? Mm. This is not going to be... As easy as I planned it to be. 
No, this is going to be a lot more trickier than I thought it was going to be. Yeep. Alright. I think it might be possible if we push down here we can take out uh, Istria and maybe grab Venice as well. And then we've got a breakthrough, but then breaking through the big rivers in the central part of Italy is going to be a problem too. Hmm. Not as smooth as I would have liked. Yet again, we need to work on better artillery as well, and better uh, anti-air as well. It's really lacking right now. It's really lacking. Go here. And go here. Trench warfare. Not really going to be able to take advantage of the extra planning bonus either, which is a shame. How long are we going to get this for? Oh, it's permanent! Oh. Hmm. Oh, shit. No, no. Yeah. Hang on. What? No. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So, rubber and steel. Go here. Guess we can grab a little bit of rubber as well. Waiting for this to finish. Disperse three. <clears throat> we have got a lot of artillery. Maybe we could focus on an artillery division. How much artillery would we need? 6,000. We've got nowhere near enough. That's important. I need to sh throw down the, the equipment to the bottom. I should always remember to do that, and I keep forgetting. Alright, you guys here. And then we just go nuts, right? Yep. Finally, we've got the extra research slot. We desperately need that. We've been gagging for the extra research for so long. I guess this is how Paradox has represented the minor powers in the game, haven't they? They've represented them by, I guess, in a way, kind of like taking them a while to gear up as such. I mean, they've got some really good techs here. I mean, this one gives us extra infrastructure and civilian production, extra steel, extra aluminium, an extra research slot, but. It takes them a very long time to gear up to that point. I'm just curious, if I go for a fascist king, that's kind of what I've got right now. I've got a fascist king, haven't I? Hmm. Okay. Mm, working on that. Work on the guns, engineers. And that's good. I think we're up to date now, so we can focus on better artillery. Germany's declared war on Poland. It's going to ask me to join, and I'm going to be like, nope. This is one of the cheeky things you can do. Oh, nah, that's not a good idea. It's weird to say Germany with medium tanks at this stage of the game. You don't usually see them with mediums. It's quite refreshing. Improve relations with Bulgaria. Non-aggression pact with Bulgaria. Yeah, I don't think guarantees ever end, do they? Hmm. Seven percent. Ninety-five percent. Oh, what's going on here, boys? They're trying to attack into the Maggio. Look at all the divisions they've got. That's pretty crazy. So we can declare war right now. 
We're not going to call Italy because that would be a horrendous mistake. Now, I'm going to be honest with you right now, guys. This is going to be a grind on this border. I know it is going to be. Uh, if we can make... Oh, actually, now I think about it. If we can make a breakthrough here, these troops are all going to be pinned in fighting here and we can just swoop around the back of them. Oh, that would be glorious. I guess we should really use all our planes, shouldn't we? To get the maximum amount of air superiority. Now we, will you, we need those. Get rid of them. Dislike. Hang on. How do you disband? How do you disband? How do you disband an air wing? I don't even know how you... Oh, there we go. Okay, so here we go. So they're initially pushing into us, which I think probably is a good idea because that means we get their own defensive bonus, don't we? And then we're pushing them back here, which is good news. Uh, that's good. That's up to date. We're working on that. That's far away. The encryption decryption is a good idea, so we get that extra attack bonus. Yet again, complete gridlock in the north of the Alps here, not getting anywhere. Making gains here, but still it's a very slow, gradual push. What's the times like? 30 days? Have we got radio? We have, haven't we? we definitely got radio, haven't we? We've got to have it. And the air war is happening right here. There's a lot of planes in the air. That's a lot of planes. Oh, look, and France... <laughs> France is pushing into Bavaria. Wow! We're losing some of our convoys. Oh, that would be the Italians attacking us, wouldn't it? And we've reached a gridlock. Fuck. I guess here. Oh, look, you can queue up attacks as well. That's new. Oh, no, it's not. Here it is. It's new. You can queue up attacks whilst you're in combat. That's actually really good. Because in multiplayer, that's what really cooks you, doesn't it? All right, I think we're going to have to just stop for a moment. Let them grind on to us for a second. Fighting an air war that I don't think we can win because they've got a lot of uh, advantage on us. Oh, look, the Germans are reinforcing here. That's good news. They lose Danzig, Poland's gone. And therefore they'll reinforce the West. It doesn't look like they've got many divisions. This is a new thing that AI does as well. It makes like a, a, a reserve division, like a smaller division that uses less equipment for a defensive purpose. Apparently it's like, it's called rolls, apparently. Rolls? Oh my god, the casualties. Okay. And again, you know, using our convoys, because we're moving our convoys through the med. But we can't pierce. Oh, we can pierce the tanks. No, I'm wrong. Extra industry. Extra research, I say. So these are areas that we're going to claim, but we're not going to claim right now because we can't. So I imagine we just go work on our industry more. Yep, we'll do that. Okay, so... We're going to try and make another push here, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Not doing too bad to say that they're suffering from a, a mountain penalty. Yeah, it's like we're going to have to grind them down. They're probably losing an incredible amount of casualties grinding against us here in the mountains. So this is all in our favor, really. Alright, okay. How are we doing for resources? Could do a bit more rubber. Actually, now think about it, we could do with the the air guy as well to get the extra agility and max speed for the fighters. Poland is holding on. There we go. As I say that, they collapse. 
French counterattack, yeah, French going crazy. So the div the strength of these divisions are dropping considerably. So yet again, this is I don't know, man. I so in all fairness, we can turn this around very soon as we we just need to hold this position. You see, though, their organization, these divisions are actually getting quite low. So mm, I don't know. Maybe they're holding on. Who knows? Oh, that's great. Attack the tech Bella looks while you're losing. That'll be a good idea. God damn, how many divisions here? That's a lot of divisions. Okay, the grind in the Alps is continuing. How's the resources doing? Okay, all right. I think I like, I want to just want to concentrate a little bit more on my industry just to make sure I don't fall behind. Uh, you go here, go here. Make some industry here. Good, 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 good. So these guys don't feel very confident we can win this. How's the air war going? So, we've disturbed an absolute shit ton of bombers. We've shot down six fighters, 18 uh, bombers, three support. We've lost 38. So, in all fairness, it's a about even, isn't it? Bit of a grind in the air. Alright boys, I think it is time to make our counter-attack because we can't just keep sitting here. Um, now there's not a lot we can do, I suppose. Yeah. There's not any way I could have kind of tricked and gone around anyway, is there? I imagine the only thing I could have done is gone for heavier soft attack division with artillery. Or somehow got tanks. Mm. Alright, let's go. So, yet again, I don't expect to win any of this, but at least we're kind of really just rubbering them up and softening them up a wee bit. Nope, they're having as just as amount of success as we are. Nope. So I guess we just sit here on the Italian border, right? And just uh just wait, right? I realize as well that we do actually have more claims if we go for this one. Hmm Tuscany Lorraine Lorraine? So we're getting a claim on France there. Am I losing my mind? It looks like World War One. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, they've slowly and truly got bogged down though a little bit. So I guess we're slowly and truly pushing them back a wee bit. A wee bit. I don't know about you, but the look of that plane doesn't really fill me with lots of confidence. It's not giving me the maximum amount of confidence, boys. That's a good look, actually. We could actually check to see how much, how many we've shot down. By anti air. We've shot none down by anti air. It's all air battles. Mm. 
That is definitely a new thing that I don't seem to recall having the ability to queue up two attacks in one go. That's definitely new. Yeah, that's definitely new. Okay, so this is our standard division. So maybe what we should do is make a speciality division. Alright. So here we go. So we've got 50 divisions here. 46 now. Sorry, 43 to 46. Um, and what we should do is we should convert them to something else, right? So maybe what we should do... Is duplicate that. How do you duplicate? There we go, duplicate. There you go. Um, artillery, artillery. And do that, right? Go for heavy infantry. It's a classy name, right? Where is it? Did I save it? I'm, the, I'm not being stupid. Oh, I did not. I did save it. Oh, that's actually cool. It shows the little chevrons now. And the reserves as well. That's cool. Maybe I shouldn't have converted all of them. Oops. Convert these back to regular infantry. That's pretty silly, to be honest with you, but... Um, yeah, go here. And then we've got a... God damn, he's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, we're catching up on artillery. Alright. Now this should be ideal. Because the amount of soft attack we're delivering now is massive. So this should absolutely demolish any infantry divisions that we face. And it looks like that we are. And it says that we should be able to get through here without any problems too. And it looks like we are too. Look at the strength of these divisions too. So low. So, the push, push of the Magia. Still putting up some resistance, though. Push into the Netherlands a wee bit. Belgium's holding holding firm. I don't know, boys. Europe looks a bit uncertain right now. God damn, they're still holding. What is going on, boys? I believe push onwards. Victory. The question is... Will we be able to get through here? That is the question, guys. Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, remember to like and to subscribe. Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like the video and turn on notifications for future videos. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.